All right, welcome to my Lexa Infiltrator skin review. So as you can see, today is the day that you can finally unlock the brand new style for Lexa. And not only do you get this additional style for the skin, but you also get the style for her back bling, her pickaxes, as well as her glider. It's always a plus to get the full set like this because then it makes running all of them worthwhile. So as you can see, there's quite a few epic quest rewards left for this season. And Infiltrator Lexa is the current one that we can unlock. Next up is the banner icon, and then we actually get a War Strike style. This one looks phenomenal. I can't wait to get that. So let's check her out in the locker here. So there really isn't that much change from the default. This, of course, is the default. You can see she's got those maroon red shorts on, and then some, I think those are navy blue socks, and almost a white shirt. So here's the Infiltrator. So as I swap back and forth, you can see that the shirt remains the same. And it looks like the socks turned purple. Did the boots change? Yes, the boots changed to a teal color, just like the shorts. Her arms changed from black to the teal color. Now watch her hair as I swap back and forth. So you can see the tips of her hair turn that pink color. You can also see the choker around her neck and the part that hooks onto the back bling right there, those turn pink. Here it is on the default, you can see they're black and now they turn into this pink color. So that's pretty cool. It adds a little more color to the character, a little brighter, and that's about it. Now here's the default back bling called the Mecha Fusion Interface. And the new one that we get is called the Infiltration Interface. So again, it gets a little brighter. So the default one is an orangish red color and then a dark tan or a black. And this one, the new one, has a little bit of pink on it, as you can see, just a little bit there. It's a light gray, and then we've got that teal greenish color as well. So once again, just a little brighter from the default, and that's about it. Now the pickaxes are way noticeable. So here's the default ones. They're gray and a reddish orange color right there. Really clean, they're really nice. Here's what it looks like when you swing. You can see it's got a pink contrail. Not bad. Now here's the new ones. These are called the Infiltrator Null Claws. Now these ones turn pink. Again, here's the defaults. They're just that gray color on the outside with the orangish red on the inside. And this time, the entire blade turns pink and a light blue. How cool is that? Definitely matches the character. I love the pink highlights all over this character. Now as you can see, the contrail appears to be blue. So very interesting. That should stand out quite nice in game. We'll check it out. Now, believe it or not, even her awesome glider, the Hyperboard, totally reminds me of the Hoverboard from Back to the Future. Even this one gets a style upgrade. So this one was kind of plain with that gray and black color and a little bit of red. Now look at this one. This is the Infiltrator Hyperboard. It turns that fluorescent pink and we've got the teal and a lighter gray. So I can't remember if there's a contrail for this. I think there is. I think for this one it was red. So I'm assuming this one's going to be that teal color. But boy, oh boy, do I love this glider. Now, what I was most looking forward to is her built-in emote. Because I have a feeling this is going to change. So let me show you the default one. If you've never ran this skin or if you don't have it yet, the default Lexa turns into this. Check this out. This is the Hunter Protocol. She turns into a gray and red and black, basically. All right, so that's the default. Now, moment of truth. Let's swap to the Infiltrator and see if she changes colors. I'm 99% sure she should. Here we go. Holy smoke, she does. Look at that, she gets some pink and some teal and a lighter gray. Ooh, her eyes even turn colors. They are that light blue, right? They were red last time, weren't they? Let's just check that out one more time with the default. Pretty sure they were red. Yes. So definitely a lot more color. Boy, I can't wait till we get the next style for Lexa. That's gonna look awesome when she transforms. So this is definitely the highlight. The fact that this built-in emote adds that bright pink, the teal, looks way, way better in my opinion. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to see this in game. If I remember correctly, I did a full review on Lexa and she kind of changed colors at night. She was much more vibrant at night compared to in the day. All right, so here we go. First, we're gonna check out the new Hyperboard. 
I just love that animation. Look at that. So there's the contrail. Definitely a light blue or teal effect. Look how she rides that. Just like a serpent a wave. I love the little flip that she does right there. Pow! Steps on it. So that's a nice color pink. I really, really enjoy this color scheme. The pink and teal looks great on this skin. Look how nice this looks. Absolutely perfect. All right, so let's check out the pickaxes here. Here's the pullout noise. It's got a unique animation as well. They just sprout out from your fingertips almost. Here's the contrail. So we'll check this out again at night. I'm sure you'll see it much better. But it's that teal blue effect. All right, so we're gonna transform right now before it gets nighttime. Here's the hunter protocol. Boy, that's incredible. This entire set has that pastel color scheme going. Okay, the sun is going down. Check this out. Look how nice she looks in the dark. The eyes light up. The pink really stands out. It's just absolutely incredible. Look at the pickaxes at night. You can see the contrail is much better. I just love this color scheme. Let me transform her back. So again, the hair stands out pretty nicely. Let me spin her around. She still has the red eyes. It's just a very, very nice color scheme all around. But I'm definitely impressed with the Hunter Protocol transformation. Some people may say this looks more girly because it's pink, but I think it looks tremendous. Nothing girly about this. This is a cyborg robot that will eat your heart. So I totally forgot to show the splash effect of the pickaxe. Watch this when you hit something. Very, very blue. You can totally see that. Look at that. That's a nice blue splash effect right there. Love it. So there you go. There's Infiltrator Lexa in all her glory. Like I said, the color scheme is fantastic. The pickaxes look great. The glider looks great. I love everything about this skin. I already thought Lexa was a great skin in and of herself, but this new additional style brings out a nice little flair for her, and I really, really enjoy it. Probably a 9 out of 10 from me. Great skin, great style. I can't wait until we get the next one. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.